What's up, Cowboys Nation? Back at you again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about Rashawn Evans, the linebacker. I really, really like this player, and I'm glad that we brought this guy in. He's a very physical player who is a thumper. And having guys like LVE getting injured, you're going to need this guy to step up. And we're here to run highlights and lowlights, so let's get down to it. This is a guy that is coming in at 6'2", 235 pounds. This is the ideal size for the linebacker position. And in 2022, he had 160 tackles, two forced fumbles, two interceptions, four passes defensed, and two fumble recoveries. This is the type of linebacker that you have to bring in, Cowboys Nation. So when you're taking a look at a guy like Rashawn Evans with Dan Quinn, they like to use these guys on stunts. This nose tackle is going to be stunting to the left side, and he's going to be looping right outside of Rashawn Evans. Rashawn Evans is going to be coming into the interior, and this is the same thing that Dan Quinn does for all of our linebackers, everybody on the defensive line. So bringing this guy in is going to be good because he has an understanding of stunts, and having his closing speed and someone that can be able to get to the quarterback quickly is going to be huge. So we'll run this play. As you can see, number 97, He's stunting to the left side. He loops around. Rashawn Evans disengages. He uses his hands well and closes in. And this is the type of stuff that you need, man. We love linebackers that can be able to do this. Micah Parsons does it all the time. But just seeing these guys showing blitz, having 54, disengaging, and getting to the quarterback, those things matter, man. If you can be able to have players like that that can be able to close understand what Dan Quinn wants out of the defense and know what these defensive tackles are doing, the defensive linemen are doing, having spacing and just understanding little creases that they can be able to use to get to quarterbacks that can be able to make a difference. So if he can bring that here to our Dallas defense, I think that this guy can be able to make a difference. So we'll get down to the next play. So we're taking a look at this play right here. This has got to be one of my favorite plays that I broke down of Rashawn Evans. And on this play, the offense, they're going to be running a stretch to the right. Then you got these guys. They got a lot of heavy guys on the offensive line. They're going to be double team blocking guys like number nine, the edge rusher. Then you have the tackle. They're going to attack number 95. They're going to try to down block the guy number 97 at the defensive tackle position as well. But the good thing is you have a violent player in Rashawn Evans who has a high IQ and he understands what these offensive linemen are trying to do. And getting tackles for loss is very, very important when it comes down to Dan Quinn's scheme. Because if you can be able to get that, you can have Micah Parsons pin his ears back and get after the pass rusher. And this is exactly what we need at the linebacker position. So we'll run this play. As you can see, they start down blocking and double teaming. Next thing you know, Rashawn Evans, he dips it low, uses his hands and slides right through the B-gap and attacks the running back. And that right there is big. You know, he's a little excited right there. You know what I mean? That's what you need. You got to have guys to be able to set the tone. We'll run this play so you guys can see it in real time. He was falling down a little bit, but just being able to stop that running back right there, this is what makes guys like Dan Quinn happy. When you have defensive tackles like a Osa Odigizua, hopefully Mozzie Smith can continue to keep getting better is going to make things easier for guys like Rashawn Evans and Micah Parsons. But gap integrity is very important. Demarcus Lawrence, Micah Parsons, whoever we have at the edges, if you're allowing your linebackers to roam like this and make plays, this is what brings the best out of this defense. So this is a play right here that really shows that this guy has that grit and determination. You love to see situations like this from this type of player because you're going to have number 72. He's going to attack Rashawn Evans, but he's going to trip and he's going to target his knees. But just having Rashawn Evans understanding leverage and just getting away from number 72 and closing and making a tackle is going to be huge. So the guard is going to be attacking. They're going to be down blocking and trying to attack the guys on the interior defensive line. So we'll run this play. As you can see, number 72, he trips and he targets his knees. Rashawn Evans, he gets in position and he kind of dodges it. But next thing you know, he lifts up and he closes in on the ball. And just having that type of energy, you need things like that because that rubs off on guys like Donovan Wilson, Micah Parsons, Marquise Bell. That really helps guys like that out because regardless if you're not able to make a play, you're playing through the whistle, you're doing things to show that you have that grit and you want to go out there and make plays, it's going to be good for this type of defense if you can be able to continue to do things like that. Stay aggressive because if they have the ball, 
You have to pursue to the ball. Sometimes you might have weird angles, but just seeing this player going out there to make that tackle, this is the kind of stuff that you need for this type of defense. So I wanted to show you guys some of his highlights and his lowlights. We want this to be a very, very productive video because I've been doing a lot of digging and I want you guys to see what this player can be able to do. We're running a film session right now just so we can break down these plays. But just seeing all these guys plays is always going to be good for Cowboys Nation so we can see what kind of player we're getting. So let's go ahead and run it. Just seeing these highlights and seeing what these guys can do is always good, Cowboys Nation, just so you guys can get a feel of what this player can do. So we're going to get down to this last play. You love to see this guy just getting after the quarterback. Sometimes they use this guy as a spy. He's athletic enough to roam sideline to sideline, but right here he's going straight to the quarterback. And this dude is going to blow this guy up. But you don't want to get any penalties or anything like that, but just seeing a player being as physical as him just setting that tone is always good. So we're going to run this play. As you can see, this guy's going in for the sack. And then next thing you know, he just wrapped his whole head off. It's crazy because I don't know if that was a penalty or not. We're going to run that in real time or slower time to see if that was actually a penalty. Yeah, that looks like that might be a penalty, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they don't catch that all the time. Bringing him in with the linebackers that we have already could be really, really good. And when you see players like him who used to play for Alabama, we all know that Dylan Moses, he wore number 32. You had guys like C.J. Mosley. He wore number 32 as well. Little things like that matters. We know that he was a leader on and off the field. He was drafted in the first round to the Tennessee Titans. Then he went on to play for the Atlanta Falcons in 2022. So now he's without Dallas Cowboys. But here's the thing. We know that this guy could be a good prospect, but this team has so much work to do. We do not want to hype these guys up. We do not want to gas these guys up. So they got to go out there and prove it and do their job. If they can be able to do that, then we'll see how it all plays out. So we don't want to get our head too high with this guy. He does have some good plays. 
He does have some bad plays. So let's see if he can go out there and prove it to us. We're going through a bye week right now. So hopefully these guys can be able to get this guy going and see if he can be able to make an impact next game. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss on fire live streams and fire breakdowns. So talk to y'all soon. All right, y'all. Gone.